Hi, my name is Andrew Chud, and I'm going to be doing a rapid demo of AWS Mobile Hub. I'm going to enable some cloud code, little application logic running in the cloud in AWS Lambda, and I'm going to invoke that from a mobile app. So I'm going to start by signing into the AWS console. I'm going to go to Mobile Hub, which is right here under Mobile Services. I'm going to create a new project, and let's call it Cloud Logic. I'm going to close the help uh, swim lane there and I'm going to scroll down to Cloud Logic and I'm going to enable that feature and hit save. Okay, so it saved the feature. I'm going to refresh my function list, and I should see there Lambda created, uh, AWS Mobile Hub created a Hello World Lambda function for me. Um, I can go to my resources page, and I can see what it's created for me um, in my project. I can see there's a function. So I'm going to click on the function. That's going to take me to the AWS Lambda console, where I can see the code. And it's a pretty simple function here. It's just echoing back uh, one parameter that was passed in. Um, let's test the function out in the AWS Lambda console. Um, so I hit test and it shows the results of the sample event and shows how long it took to run it and some other stuff. Okay, so let's go back to Mobile Hub and uh, now I can see that the Cloud Logic feature is enabled. I can go to the build page and I want to get the application code for this for, uh, to invoke it from an Android app. So I click on Android it's going to generate a download package for me. I'm going to click and download that. Okay. Um, and there's my package and it's got some readme information and it also has my project. So I'm going to open up my project in Android Studio. I'm going to import it because it's a Gradle project. Um, there's my project. So Android Studio is importing it, and I can see Gradle was, was doing some stuff there. OK, um, here's my project, and I can expand the code. And I can see there's, there's some demo folder here that has a little Cloud Logic fragment in it. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and, and run it. And I'm going to launch it in a Android emulator and an AVD that's running Android Lollipop. And I can see Gradle is building. So it looks like Gradle's done. Um, and now, what is going on with the emulator? There, uh, we're installing on the emulator says it's uploading it. Now it's doing the install. Emulator is starting up. And the emulator might have been busy starting while this was going on. Let's... Nope. It's good. <coughs> Okay, so the sample app's going to start up here. I'm going to go to a little Cloud Logic demo. And here I've got a, an event I can use to call my Lambda function with, and I'm going to invoke that. And just like when I tested in the console, Lambda returned that, that value. So let's go back to Mobile Hub and let's go to a resources page and that Lambda function. And now let's make the Lambda function do something else. Uh, make it more interesting. So instead of just echoing back the first parameter, let's make it do something more fun. How about have it give us the timestamp? And I'm going to make this a string. Okay, so if I test this, 
Um, in the console, it's going to... Oh, actually, I want to return that result. Result, there we go. Let's save and test this. Um, so it returns the timestamp like I expected, and I've got some console logs there. Okay, so let's go back to our mobile app and see that change work. So I'm going to invoke my function again, and there we go. I can see the timestamp um, is what's returned. Um, so if I go to the Android Studio project, I can see that that demo code, Let's see how it's calling Lambda. So if I look at the demo fragment, <coughs> I can see it's got a little on-click invoke, um, which right here is in the background encoding the payload and calling AWS Lambda with the function name. Um, it's saying it wants a response. It's not just an async event that fires off in the background. Um, so it gets the result back, and then we take that result and put it into that text field. So that's it. The, the app's just calling Lambda on its own. Um, and that is invoking CloudLogic from a mobile app within AWS Mobile Hub.